I'm going to be showing you a very unique way to create your listing on Amazon for Amazon FBA and to sell your products online. Now you can't, don't just have to use this for Amazon FBA. You can use this for your Shopify store or even a sales letter. And the reason that it's going to be a little more unique is I'm not going to teach you how to keyword stuff your titles. I'll show you how to do that stuff, but I'm going to show you how to create a listing that solves a problem and it forms around one big idea. One big idea means that your product solves a problem and you want to just keep reemphasizing the problem that it solves. And when you keep reemphasizing the problem that it solves, it helps paint a picture in somebody's mind. And so you can create a listing around this big idea. You can create photos around this big idea. You're going to storyboard your photos. And so everything's going to be around that. Now, I don't have my photos yet created, and this is a brand new listing that I'm creating for you. We actually just bought a business in March of 2024, and this is the first product we're releasing with that business. So follow me along. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll follow me along in that journey of me building this business to a million dollars and beyond. Goal is a million dollars in 12 months, $3 million in 24 months with a million dollars in EBITDA, working less than five hours per week on it between me and my partner, each working five hours a week. So let's jump into the step-by-step -step guide of how to create a listing on Amazon or just a sales letter in general, because I'm going to create a sales letter too. So we're coming out with an acid reflux supplement. This is a natural way to help your acid reflux. You have to be careful with FDA structure function claims. But the big idea here is not natural acid reflux relief. That's what most of you guys would do. You'd say natural acid reflux relief. And that would be what you'd focus your all your copy around. That's not what the end user is buying. When you think of the benefit of the benefit, that's going to make you think deeper on it. I see most of the time with most Amazon sellers is they're putting their features in the bullets. They're putting their features in the title and no one cares about your features. No one does. So what's the benefit to that feature? And then once you figure out the benefit to that feature, I then want you to figure out the benefit of that benefit. Because when you dig deeper into features and then benefits and dig deeper into those benefits, you're going to find the real reason why somebody buys something from you. It's not natural acid reflux relief. So our big idea is enjoy your morning coffee again. Go back and eat the foods that you love. It helps you sleep without the discomfort of acid reflux. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to eliminate your acid reflux naturally, but we're going to help you enjoy your coffee again, the pizza that you love or the pizza, the food that you love, like pizza or things like with tomato sauce. And when people with acid reflux lay down at night, they have a lot of discomfort. And so that is what I'm going to be talking to you about today is focusing everything around that big idea and showing you the listing creation. Now, I say this with a little bit of uh, acid engine, <laughs> heartburn and acid reflux myself because I had Indian food for dinner and I had a coffee today and I don't drink coffee anymore and Indian food is a little spicy. So I'm suffering from acid reflux right now. So I feel this big idea of I'd love to enjoy my morning coffee again without the pain of heartburn. I'd love to enjoy the food I love again. I used to love like Indian food, spicy Indian food without the discomfort of acid reflux and heartburn. All right. So let me flip over to my screen and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to create a listing. We're going to do some keyword research first. We're going to then create the listing with ChatGPT. Then we're going to create a sales letter and then go deeper into what ChatGPT has created for us. All right, let me flip over to my screen. All right, so here we are on Keywords on Fire with by Zanguru. Use whatever tool you want. I use Zanguru. My affiliate link's down below in the description. I've used Helium 10. I've used Jungle Scout. I've used them all. I love Zanguru. It's been a great... This is what we use for all our clients as well. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm in Keywords on Fire. So I went to Listing Optimization, Keywords on Fire. Then I'm going to put in here Acid Reflux Supplements. I'm going to put two here because I've already got one pulled up right here. So I'm going to put create. And what I'm going to do is put one of my products in here first and then add listing. And then I'm going to do a search. So I'm going to click on this one and click acid reflux supplements. And now we're going to get all the supplements for acid reflux. I'm going to highlight them all. I'm just going to go through these and make sure they all make sense. I don't know what that is. It's like a gel that you eat. Acid reflux support. It's a supplement. I'm very confused. Directions. Take one. Okay. So yeah, it's a gel. Okay. And then we'll keep going down. These all look good. Um, I don't want omeprazole, omeprazole, I mean, I don't want, yeah, I'll take that one. I'm just looking for natural remedies. I don't want anything around prescriptions. So we're going to add all these. We've reached the listing and then we're going to click run session. This is going to take anywhere from five to 20 minutes. And so you can see I've already got one made. So I'm going to pull that up. And what you can see here, you can see a lot from this data. And this is going to give you the most relevant search terms. So Reflux Gourmet, the one I just showed you, that one is actually dominating this market. And you can see right here that they're making about $210,000 a month. And it significantly drops off until we get to Reflux Wrapped. But a lot of different keywords here, name brands and everything. Here's your search volumes. So we'll just keep scrolling down. It looks pretty good. Acid Reflux Medicine gets the most, of course. We're probably going to attack that later on. But you can see relevant keywords. Keywords, that's a quick filter. So top 25 competitors greater than two. You can get long tail keywords in there. Keywords that are greater than three words. Do recommended keywords in here and non-branded keywords. So get rid of all the brand names. So lots of filters that you can do. You can also look at your SEO analysis. So what this is going to do is just give you a little bit more SEO. You can just kind of highlight these areas and it will tell you what it means down here. And then you can see competitor view down here. 
and it all tells you what to do here. I'm not going to go too deep into that because that's not what we're talking about today. We're not talking about keyword research as much. We have our list of keywords and that's what matters. So I'm going to go into listing optimizer and this is where we're going to build our listing. So let me delete this one. We're going to call this one Dr. Barry's Reflux Essentials. Create session. We're going to add keywords. Import from Keywords on Fire. And we're going to add it from uh, this one, I believe. Yes. Strong and medium. You can do all, but... I just do strong and medium because it just keeps the, the highest level ones in here. So it's going to bring 102 different keywords in. We're going to click here to add the listing. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this one. Actually, we're going to add a blank listing. Dr. Barry's Reflux Essentials. Okay, we're going to hit finish. Then we're going to do AI generate. So brand name, Dr. Berry's Reflux Essentials, product description. You should know a little bit of what your product is about. Um, I have it pulled up right over here. It's very similar to the current product that we have. We're just changing the name and changing the formula a little bit. So let me just go pull that. So I'm just gonna pull this title, put this in here. Uh, it's 60 capsules, holistic formula for 30 days, negative keywords. I'm gonna go to Omeprazole. I'm gonna do Prilosec, medicine. And then what else could we do here? Um, there's a couple other brand names like Nexium, um, Tone. We're gonna do professional. Generate. So now what this is going to do is it's going to take a couple minutes. It's going to form our title, bullets, bullet one, two, three, four, and five, description and search terms all within five minutes. And so um, this is not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a great start. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the next step and to make this go even deeper because it's very superficial right now. It's going to be very okay. Um, it's not going to be great. So we do not have this. So we're going to get rid of that one. So let's recreate that one. Uh, talk about eating foods and coffee again. So we're going to regenerate that one. Okay, that one's regenerated. Let's take a look at it. Uh, benefit. So you can see it's not perfect. Rediscover the joys of dining with Dr. Barry's blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So not perfect, but okay. So what I'm going to show you next is, and then you can see all of the, make sure you do not have brand names in the back end search terms right here. All right, so now that we have these, what I'm going to do next is show you what I like to do. So I'm going to come over here to chat GPT, normal chat GPT. And I'm just going to type in acid reflux supplement. And what I'm going to do is look at some of these more expensive ones. I'm just going to pull up their landing page. Just take a look at it. All right, so now I'm going to take this, just copy it. I'm going to say to chat GPT, so this is a channel I've been making and building about acid reflux. It's a very educated channel. I've just been uploading different things about acid reflux, asking it questions about acid reflux, so it knows a lot about it. So I'm going to say, this is a sales letter for one of my competitors. I want you to analyze the format because I want to create one for my product as well. Pretty long sales letter, not too crazy though. Okay, here is the sales letter to copy. Here is my product. I'm gonna go get the information on my product. I actually have it up here already, but you can get whatever you have on it. Um, let's see, so it's gonna be right here. Yep, here it is. So that's just the title, and then I have all the ingredients right here, and then I have the 10 biggest pain points of acid reflux, focusing on that one big idea. And I'm gonna come back here, here's my product, and then I'm gonna get my one big idea and put it in here too. Here is my one big idea i want all the sales copy to be around and my one big idea is to enjoy your morning coffee again and then here is my current amazon listing please make it better focusing on benefits and not features actually we're going to wait on that one so let's go here and we're going to send message and now we're going to wait so it's going to analyze that sales letter it's going to look at our product and now it's going to create our own sales letter from that Okay, so it gave me a great outline. So now I'm going to say, please make my sales letter. And we'll fast forward to this part. So there's a sales letter. It's a great, this could be a landing page on your website or anything like that. And look at that, it created four bullets for us. And those bullets are great. Those could be your bullets in your copy because one of those bullets is going to help somebody, help close somebody. So let's go back up here. Um, what I want to do is say, here are my current bullets. Let's go back to Zanguru. This was, this is a great sales letter. Please help me write my Amazon listing as well. Here is the current listing. I'm going to get my bullets. Bullet one, bullet two, bullet three, bullet four, and bullet five and product description please rewrite my amazon listing by focusing around the benefits like you did in the sales letter additionally additionally keep in mind 
that I want to still focus on the big idea, which is this again. Okay, perfect. So it's got it done. And now I'm just going to do one other thing. Now rewrite it, making sure you comply by FBA structure function claims. All right, perfect. So there we have it. We have our Amazon listing. Let's come back up here. Let's look at right here, Dr. Bear's Reflux Essential, natural support for digestive health, dietary supplements, supplement for occasional heartburn and indigestion, 60 days capsules, and then the bullet points. I actually like the other bullet points. I thought they complied just fine. So I'm going to go grab these and bring them in. I'm actually bringing these into a little document because I like to look at them before I finalize them. And then product description, bring that in here too. I'm going to put bullets right above this. And then title, great. So title, bullets, and product description. And I'm going to come down here, put sales letter number one. I'm going to scroll back up to that sales letter. This one. Scroll all the way down. This one. Then I'm going to put rewrite this sales letter to be FDA structure function claims compliant. Well, that's writing. I'm going to come back up here and I'll look at this title. So right here in title, we're going to say non-compliant, title compliant. Okay. Now let's go back over here. Now we're going to get our sales letter again. And then again, this is your sales letter that you could do for your website to drive people to your website. Again, focusing on the problem, the problem that your product solves. That's what we're doing. All right, so let's just go back up here. So here's our Amazon listing. And so let's do our search terms. So let's go back to keywords on fire. And we're going to look at our search terms right here. I'm going to bring those over too. And medicine, Terra, it sounds like, I don't know what this is. It sounds like it's Spanish, um, homeopathic, GERDs, orange burps, separate them, separate those. Chewable tablets, we're not chewable, so I'm going to take that out. Pills, medication, not a powder, sodium, amatadine. 12 milligrams of folic. Uh, I don't like that one. Anti-digest, gold, kit, stop, bicarbonate, or not gum, extra strength, stops, organic. I'm going to put acid, and then reflux over here. Cool. So yeah, now we have our search terms. And that's it. So this is, I hope, and so here's the cool thing about doing this. This is a different way of doing things. I'm not talking about my features in my bullets. I'm talking about a storyboard. So what's happening here is you're taking customers on a journey and you can do this with your photos. So our first photo is going to be probably somebody enjoying coffee again. And it's going to say, enjoy coffee again. The next photo is going to be somebody eating pizza. Enjoy your favorite foods again. Sleep peacefully at night. It's going to be somebody sleeping. It's going to be, it's going to then talk about a little bit about natural and holistic relief, soothing your digestive system. But you can storyboard your photos by making great bullets that focus on the benefits of the benefits of the feature. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below about any of this. So I hope this was helpful in writing copy for your Amazon listing. I like to take a little bit different of an approach and I like you to focus on the benefits of the benefits of the features. Most of the time when I'm seeing Amazon sellers, they're putting the features everywhere in the listing. It just makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Actually, I do want to throw up in my mouth a little bit because I have acid reflux from all the talk and then the Indian food and then the coffee I had today. But anyway, I digress. Put yourself in your customer's shoes. Do they care about the features of your product? No, they do not. They don't care about the features of your product. They care about the benefits of your product. So make sure you show them the benefits. Is that cool? Can you say, like this video? <laughs> like this video. Well, if you haven't yet, check out our free Amazon PPC masterclass yeah. at profitablepineapple.com. And we it's better than any paid course out there. And if you don't want to opt in to our email sequence and you don't want to get the free PPC masterclass, you can actually click this YouTube video right here. And that will take you to the whole three and a half hour session. But if you do opt in at profitablepineapple.com, we'll, we break it up into chapters for you in our private community. Well, I don't know. I'm Kitty on my back. Oh, you can't find Kitty. Okay, we'll go find Kitty. All right. Thanks for watching.